Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, we thank God for this new month of February. He has given to us in His grace and mercy. And this month of February is called as the month of love because on the 14th of this month, worldwide we celebrate Valentine's Day. But we know that love cannot be limited to one day, one or two days. It has to be lived every day of our lives. The today's liturgy of the word gives us how should be the love of parents for their children. Especially we see in the first reading how David weeps for his son Absalom. Absalom sought the life of his own father King David because he wanted to be the king. Therefore he was chasing David but unfortunately stuck between the branches of the tree he died. And when this news was brought to King David, King David weeps for the death of his son. And he says, if I were to die in your place, that would have been better. We see the paternal love of David for his son. But we know that the Lord had given the commandment through Moses, honor your father and mother, for you shall live longer in the land I shall give you. But Absalom, overpowered by greed, wanted to kill his own father, but met an abrupt end. After the three commandments pertaining to honor God, to keep his name holy, to keep Sabbath day holy, the fourth commandment is to honor our parents. We beget our life from God through our parents. Therefore, we owe them our love and respect and our support. In the book of Sirach it is written, he who honors the father gets the forgiveness for his sins and he who honors the mother treasures wealth for his life. That is the blessings the Lord has promised for those who respect and honor their father and mother. Therefore, it is very important for our children that we may he we help them to grow in the fear of the Lord and especially in the respect and reverence for, for parents. In the Gospel, we see the concern of Jairus for his daughter. He comes and asks Jesus, come home and save my daughter because she is dying. And when Jesus is on the way to heal Jairus' daughter, a woman who had a hemorrhage for 12 years, she in faith comes to meet Jesus to touch him so that she is healed. For 12 years, the Heavenly Father knew the longing of this beloved daughter. Therefore, on this day, when Jesus is going on the way, she with full of faith, she touches Jesus. And this touch was the yearning, longing, craving, aspiration of 12 years. And that yielded fruit. And Jesus sets her as example to all those who are around her. Your faith has made you well. Go, go in peace. And coming to the house of Jairus, the Lord takes the hands of the girl and he raises her, raises her up saying, Talitha Kumi. Dear friends, today we need to help our children as parents, teachers, as caregivers to grow in the knowledge, in the reverence and love of God as well as in the respect of the parents. We may give them the most modern gadgets whatever it is, but if we fail to give them love, faith and fear of God, then that is the greatest bankruptcy that they might experience in their life. Therefore, let us not await. It is, it is shocking to see that some of our own Catholic children who are in the high school, they have still not yet received the first Holy Communion and Confirmation because some parents say he had no time, you are, you are going for special class and so on and so forth. If we have no time for God and for his grace, then for what else is the time that is given to us? Therefore, let God not be the last priority for our children. May he be the first priority so that our children also be the first priority of God. May Almighty God 
bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.